Well, a missing persons case, now a murder investigation. Police now have the victim's roommate in custody. Hello, everyone. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Rick Ritter. The story certainly taking a bizarre turn now. Baltimore City Police say their roommate confessed to the stabbing and killing the man, even showed detectives where he hid the body. WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Carden spoke to a friend of the victim who had known he'd been missing for several days. Rachel. That's right, Rick and Nicole. Isaiah Drummond's family actually called police in late January to say that he was missing. Now, after speaking to police today, we learned he was probably already dead by the time they called in. Now, his roommate is behind bars charged with his murder. Along Cecil Avenue, friends of Isaiah Drummond say this loss is hard to process. He helped people, students strive. Um, he was good for getting advice from anybody. Um, he's definitely a good person and um, I know a lot of people are going to miss him. Police say the 29 year old was reported missing by his family on January 28th. So detectives went to his house. And they found evidence that would suggest foul play was at hand. Monday, police spoke to Drummond's roommate, 28 year old Epinetis Enriquez and questioned him. Ultimately, he confessed to killing his roommate. Um, he said he stabbed him and he confessed to dumping the body. Police say Enrique guided them down a path off Reedbird Avenue, and when they got to the edge of this bank, they could see the body in the water. Detectives were fortunate enough to arrive at a time when the water level was low, as the body had been submerged in water, and our suspect in this case put heavy rocks over top of the body. But for a friend who knew Drummond as an eager learner, a helpful heart, and a talented athlete, this news was never expected. To ask God to cover his family at this difficult time. Um, and I'm gonna pray for the victim that did it, you know, because that was really a great guy. Like I said, I don't know what the situation was, but he didn't deserve that. No one deserves to get killed. Police are not releasing a motive at this time, but say Enriquez faces a slew of charges, including first degree murder. City police told us today the criminal investigation is over and Enriquez right now is behind bars. We're live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters. I'm Rachel Cardin for WJZ.